WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. Andre the Giant and Big John Stud face off in this $15,000 Body Slam Challenge. Well, the grudge between these two started when Big John Stud cut Andre's hair after getting disqualified in a match. Well, Stud challenged Andre to this match and put $15,000 of his own money on the line that Andre cannot slam him. Yeah, but if Andre cannot slam Stud, he has to retire from the WWE. And I believe the giant stud cannot be slammed. Well, we're going to find that out right now, King. What a vicious chop. Big John Stud is feeling firsthand what many have felt before him. The unbridled power of Andre the Giant. Oh, it's hard to comprehend the strength and power of Andre until you get in the ring with him. And by then, it's too late. For a normal competitor, I would agree, King, but Big John Stud is not a normal competitor. You put the raw physical power of the Giant Stud with the cunning intellect of Bobby the Brain Heenan, and I'm not sure any superstar can overcome them. Andre just may prove me wrong, though.
168 pounds for this matchup. I can't recall if Hulk Hogan has ever fought against an opponent this big before. He certainly has been wearing Bundy down, staying on the big man, not letting up. Bundy has never had the fight brought to him quite like this. Make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen. Bundy is an animal, and an animal is at its most dangerous when it's wounded. Bundy may be on the defensive right now, but he is by no means out of this match. Everything is on the line here. How much more of this can the big man take? A massive shot with force and velocity. Man's weaknesses. 
Well, good luck with that, Dragon. Macho Man has few, if any, weaknesses. Every man has weaknesses, King. Steamboat's weakness is his windpipe. After all that he's had to overcome, I'm surprised the Dragon can even breathe, let alone compete. Oh, you can see the pain in their eyes from that vicious chop. Savage with the reversal. Great counter. Steamboat is simply amazing. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Watch out! He hits the high-risk move! Well, dragons don't normally fly. No! Oh! man has to be careful here. The dragon has found his stride and is really bringing the fight to the Intercontinental Champion. Well, Savage has a history of letting his emotions get the best of him. The man nearly ended Dragon's career six months ago. It's one thing to defend your title, but Savage was trying to put the Dragon out. Look at this. Steamboat's got him all tied up now.
professional wrestling, JR. It all started when Andre came out on Piper's Pit to celebrate Hogan's WWE Championship reign. Andre got a surprise, though, as they gave him a trophy for being undefeated for 15 years. But his trophy was slightly smaller than Hogan's. Right. Then Bobby Heenan got in his ear, and before you knew it, Hogan's shirt and necklace were ripped off by Andre, and the biggest match of all time was made. That's why we're here. That's why 93,173 fans are here. The Hoosh Kings. Andy strikes with a quick kick. Come on, move it. He hasn't even given his opponent. Hogan found his mark, Four. and Andre realizes that Hogan is here to fight. Well, that meant... Andre the Giant continuing to administer the punishment to Hogan. Andre headbutted the ring post. He went for a headbutt, and Hogan dropped out of the way. These 93,000 fans are watching the two most dominant competitors of all time. Hogan is determined to achieve the impossible. The Hulkster is holding on for dear life. Wow, he did not expect that to happen. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. He's showing signs of life. This contest is just so physical. showing the effects from the power of Hulkamania. Hulk is making a statement here tonight. You want this championship? Well, then you've got a big knee for it. Sure, but can Hogan keep this up? It's one thing to hit Andre with some punches. It's another thing to beat him, and nobody ever has. In his 15-year career, no one has defeated Andre. He's rarely even been off his feet. History is not on Hulk Hogan's side. I'm not sure anyone can defeat him. I mean, look. Look at the size of Andre. Whoa. The ring just moved. Never underestimate the
possibility of WWE Champion Hulk Hogan. That's the first time in 15 years that Andre the Giant has ever been defeated. Hulk Hogan has done the impossible on the stage of the greatest wrestling event of all time. WrestleMania 3. History has been made tonight. between Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Well, DiBiase is well-rested, and he has Andre the Giant in his corner. The deck is certainly stacked against the Macho Man. Andre beat Hogan for the WWE Championship two months ago, and then surrendered the title to DiBiase. WWE Championship was vacated after Andre won and sold the WWE title to Ted DiBiase. He's showing everyone what he's got. Oh, man. There might be no getting up from that. And there's an elbow drop. Oh, that elbow's got to hurt. And he unloads with everything he's got. The Million Dollar Man, feeling the fury of the Macho Madness. Savage is so unpredictable. You can try to make a game plan, but once you're in the ring, all bets are off. You have to think at some point that Andre is going to get involved. He has a direct financial interest in DiBiase becoming the WWE Champion. Everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man, J.O. I just wonder how much Andre is getting paid tonight. Savage making the climb to the... Oh. Out what's going on here? The macho is on fire as Ted DiBiase is feeding the. The Macho had three matches earlier tonight, and he is still bringing the fight to DiBiase. DiBiase sent him with a top to the floor below. Macho man to the top, and Andre has stepped in to protect the Million Dollar Man. Andre is asking Savage to jump. Oh, the Macho Man can't jump from there. I can't believe it. This is definitely going to even things out. There's Hulk Hogan. Back into the ring now. Oh, did you see the next snap back? Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Looks 
like he's trying for a pin here. Gets three. champion by myself, all by myself. You don't know where I'm coming from, Hulk Hogan, this Sunday afternoon. But I know where you're coming from, yeah. I know everything about Hulk Hogan, yeah. I know what makes you tick, yeah. And you've got the audacity, yeah, to see that in WrestleMania 5, that Hulkamania is going to survive. You don't know me, Hulk Hogan. You don't know where I'm coming from. After I beat you with that big elbow and pin you one, two, three, guaranteed victory. I'm gonna tell you and all the pukesters out there one last time before the Sunday afternoon. Hulkamania is if you told me one year ago that the main event WrestleMania 5 would be Macho Man versus Hogan, I wouldn't have believed you. But the mega powers are exploding before our very eyes. The mega powers, one of the most dominant duos in WWE history, crumbled due to one thing, Miss Elizabeth. Savage, well known for his overprotective nature toward Miss Elizabeth, claims that Hogan has betrayed his friendship and trust by trying to steal Miss Elizabeth from him. Oh, it's like Macho Man said, JR. He's got lust in his eyes for Elizabeth. He has lust in his black heart. Macho showed the world video proof. Oh, come on now. That was just uncalled for. The flow of the match has changed again. Hulk Hogan is showing you why he's the man. Oh, look at him go. Can he get up from there? Are you kidding me, look? After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's gonna be on his diet for the foreseeable future. It's hard to 
believe that these two superstars were such good friends not that long ago. It was all a lie, JR. A lie perpetrated by Hogan. He's a grandstander, a hot dogger. He craves the spotlight no matter the cost. The ref is telling Macho and Hogan to get back into the ring and is sending Elizabeth to the back. Back into the ring now. there. Macho Man sending a message that I know you, Hogan. I know everything about you. I love it, JR. It's a cat and mouse game. These two know each other so well. It's hard to believe that these two superstars were such good friends not that long ago. The mega... Just uncalled for. Oh, Lord Almighty. 
Rudy Hornachuk. The sound is echoing to the far reaches of this packed arena. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. A very clever move. What a smart athlete.
Well, JR, Slaughter has gone from a true American hero to an Iraqi sympathizer. He was desecrating the American flag at the Royal Rumble. There's only so much of that that Hogan can stop. The punch connects. Straight kick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's in big trouble. And the sound of human flesh on the ground echoes around the arena. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Yeah. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's gonna be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Boy, he was able to reverse and get out of that. He's got him. Not getting more painful than that. And that attack was dodged. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Oh, what an offensive move. situations. Well, if you want to push Macho's buttons, a good place to start is Miss Elizabeth. You know, that push may backfire on Flair. Hmm. He may have just wanted a closer look. Wow. He didn't expect that to happen. The heat of impact delivered with that elbow drop. with a quick savage is motivated like never before fighting for the love of his life fighting for the honor of miss elizabeth oh savage isn't thinking like a man who wants to win a title he just wants to tear flair apart well let's be honest king if there is one man whose woman you don't disrespect it's randy savage well macho man can be a control freak and the antics of Flair and Mr. Perfect have sought to push him over the edge. Rick Flair has baited and prodded the Macho Man into this situation. Savage is going to have to keep his cool if he hopes to win tonight. Savage is a jealous man, and he's going to make a lot of mistakes tonight. His mind just isn't on the match. He's too consumed with Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth is not at ringside for her own protection. Ric Flair and Mr. Perfect have done everything they can to rile up and distract the Macho Man. You know, Flair has been promising steamy pictures of Miss Elizabeth for weeks now, and it's clearly having a negative effect 
on the Macho Man tonight. Why is the guy his opponent and what's he going for here? Did you hear how his leg connected? He's enjoying this. Flair with the reversal. Oh, Ric Flair is getting what he deserves. You can only push Macho Man so far to invade his home life and disrespect his woman. Savage is not letting Flair. That's it. He's done. Whoa! Ric Flair, absolutely one of the greatest to ever lace up a... What is that? Oh, come on. Perfect broke at the three camp. Come on, somebody do something. The ref trying to separate Perfect and Savage. Wait, Perfect gave something to Flair. Flair with something in his hand. Flair used that foreign object on Savage, and Macho Man is down.
referee. A very effective Irish whip. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. And when you get a man his size motivated, it's hard to stop him. Brett is down, and he took the turnbuckle with him. Well, that exposed turnbuckle is very dangerous. It can turn the tide of a match. Yokozuna goes face first into the exposed steel of the top turnbuckle. has a sharpshooter applied. Brett's got it locked in. Wait a minute. Mr. Fuji just threw something into the eyes of Bret Hart. And the ref didn't see it. Here's a cover. Two. Bret Hart is trying all that he can. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion Yokozuna. Bret Hart and Yokozuna in the sharpshooter until Mr. Fuji threw ceremonial salt in the hitman's eyes. Hogan! Hogan, you big man! My Yokozuna! Hogan! My Yokozuna! Is your challenge? If any intestinal fortitude, you would accept my Yokozuna challenge. Come on! Come on, you yellow belly! Come on! Brett's telling Hogan to go Come for on. it. And Hulk Hogan is in the ring! Wait a minute. Oh, no! Bougie going for the salt and trying to blind Hogan. And he hits Yokozuna by mistake! And he's toast! Madison Square Garden, along with all those people hanging from the rafters. The Heartbreak Kid is going to be up there taking what is rightfully his, the IC belt. Yo, boy toy, you say you're the real champ? I say I. Too much confusion. WrestleMania 10, Chico? Somebody gonna decide. If it takes a ladder, man, no problem. There's no rules. No ref, no time. Somebody, Chico, leaves WrestleMania the real champ. These two have been battling since the fall of 1993. HBK was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship due to inactivity. Right. And Razor Ramon sending HBK a message. If you want my Intercontinental title, you're going to have to take it from the bad guy. 
that I think HBK would disagree with you about who the true Intercontinental Champion is, JR. HBK wasn't fulfilling his contractual obligations and was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship. If HBK has a problem with that, he should look in the mirror. But he never lost the title. Never before have we seen two extraordinary competitors compete in a ladder match at WrestleMania. I don't think I have ever seen HBK be tested quite the way he's being tested tonight against Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. Razor off the ropes. Oh, look out. Razor Ramon is going down to the outside, right in front of us. When it matters most, HBK always rises to the occasion. It's easy to rise to the occasion when you have a monster like Diesel lifting you up. Diesel coming in now. Oh, clothesline. A clothesline right in front of the ref. He's thrown out of the garden. Diesel's going to be thrown out of WrestleMania 10. going to even things out. It absolutely will, King. Listen to this crowd. Listen to this response. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Fired up here. So 
Michaels, Aaron. Here is your winner and new undisputed WWE Intercontinental Champion, Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon has done it. He has captured both Intercontinental titles. I can't believe it. Razor is the undisputed WWE Intercontinental Champion. But at what price? What did it cost him? I don't think either of these superstars will ever be the same. These matches leave a permanent mark on you. What a matchup with Shawn Michaels. WrestleMania main event against Yokozuna and is for the WWE Championship. Well, this all started when Lex Luger and Bret both won the Royal Rumble when they both touched the ground at the same time. That's right, King. A coin toss determined who would face Yokozuna first. Luger won the coin toss but lost his match earlier in the evening. Well, Bret Hart found his brother and lost in the opening bout this evening. That loss has to weigh on the hitman's mind. What a reversal by Yokozuna! Oh, man. There might be no getting up from that. Bret Hart remembers last year when Yokozuna defeated him for the WWE Championship. Brett is determined to not repeat the nightmare of WrestleMania 9. History has a way of repeating itself, JR. Yokozuna wants to make his own history again. Bret Hart is bound and determined to take advantage of his opportunity tonight, King. Brett's waited for a year to get a shot at the WWE Championship after losing at WrestleMania 9. This might be his last chance. Another kick to the gut. This one's turning ugly, folks. He was able to reverse that. Oh, man. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Man, that's fast. If you blink, you might have missed it. Unloading with that kick to the midsection. It's nothing but air. And a counter. Bret Hart showing the excellence of execution here. When you have a man the size of Yokozuna, it's impressive that anyone can hold their own against him. Well, it's one thing to hold your own against Yokozuna, but it's entirely another thing to beat him. Bret Hart, the son of the legendary Stu Hart, and trained in the famous Hart Dungeon, has been groomed his entire life for this moment. Holding WWE gold is in his DNA. I'm not a big fan of Bret Hart or his family, but I have to admit that his ring pedigree speaks for itself. Yokozuna's number. Yokozuna is in serious trouble at the hands of the hitman. Do something, Mr. Fuji. Break out the... Wait a minute. Ah! Yokozuna, unquestionably a monster. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. Yes! Drag that broken down piece of garbage over there. Finish him! Yokozuna's going up. The hitman Bret Hart's not moving. I can't believe what I've seen. He slipped. Yokozuna going for a massive bonsai drop. Slipped and fell. He looks knocked out to me, JR. He's seeing stars. He's going for the three count. Here's three. Here is four. Yokozuna can't believe
onside drop. He lost his footing and seemingly knocked himself out. Well, that made easy picking for Bret Hart. future. Exception, 
ditched Michaels and vacated the tag team titles. Look at Shawn Michaels. He has to be quick. He's going to have to use his agility and cunning to negate the brute force of Diesel. Shawn is a ring technician, JR. Technically, I'm not sure if Diesel even knows what a ring is. Another cheap shot. Nice count. Bam! And he strikes with a quick kick. Missed him. Hey, a reversal by Diesel. Swift kick. Putting the knee to his opponent. Oh, what a hit. Charge him as guilty because that move is illegal. Sean went to experience to get caught by a sloppy move like that. Shawn Michaels has said that he would do whatever it takes to win the WWE Championship. Shawn's going to fight to his last breath tonight. This is so personal to Shawn Chayar. This will never get him in two weeks. Shawn Michaels looks to be in no man's land. He said he's in this thing. The longer this goes, the better it is for Shawn Michaels. He's got the stamina. He's lighter on the move. What a smart move. Oh, HBK hits a huge elbow. And a hard shot by Shawn Michaels. Left hand. What's going to happen now? Nice reversal there. Tremendous attack on the backdrop. Oh my God. Oh God, what impact. Takes it to the midsection. Nice work. What a shot. Nonetheless, Diesel retaining the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania 11. Shawn Michaels has got to be devastated. I mean, he wanted this match so badly. Quite honestly, I think he got robbed, JR. Big Daddy Cool sending a message that the WWE is now running on Diesel Power. man to ever step foot in a WWE ring. The Undertaker and Big Daddy Cool Diesel, one-on-one. -on -one. These two have been interfering in each other's matches and costing each other their chances at the WWE Championship. Certainly no one lost between these two, as capturing the WWE Championship is every superstar's goal. That's true, but when your goal is at the expense of The Undertaker or Diesel, well, you got trouble on your hands. And a reversal. Not this! The shot of any kicks out. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. Caught in the arm bar at this point. 
Taker relentless. And he brings his leg crashing down. The Undertaker utilized. Look out! Move off the top rope.
Bret Hart views HBK as brash and arrogant, while HBK looks as Bret as stodgy and outdated. The only thing these two have in common is their desire to walk out of WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. of this match. It takes everything that you possibly have. It's all about perseverance, JR. Who wants it more? Who has more left in the tank? Okay, okay, to win the WWE Championship here tonight, one of these two men is going to have to dig deeper than they ever have before. Well, it just goes to show you, JR, there isn't anything these two wouldn't do to claim the WWE Championship. Sean sees the opening. Sweet chin music. Wait, no. Bret Hart avoiding the kick and dropping out of the ring. Smart move, JR. You got to give him credit. Wait a minute. Michaels is going upstairs. Look at that. Look at that. Shawn Michaels taking it to Bret Hart. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Back into the ring now.
Top rope move coming. Oh my gosh. Claimed he was going to meet Shawn Michaels into submission. He made his plans very clear. I'll tell you right now, if the hitman wins the first decision, he'll win the match. That's how important it is. What we are witnessing is WrestleMania history. He's got the momentum. Uh-oh. Michael Sigal Creef. There's the cover out of here. He was finished. Oh, what a shot. A shot to the gut. Just taken a tremendous amount of abuse. Oh, what an elbow drop. Tremendous reversal. <laughs> Nothing. We got a corner. There's two. Oh, no. Watch out. The showstopper, Shawn Michaels, in Sees the opportunity. Oh my! He almost took his head off with that super kick. He's got his shoulders too planted to the mat. Oh, what a mighty what a chop! The sound is echoing to the far reaches of this packed arena. 60 seconds remain. What's going to happen? This might be big. SGK is no stranger to competition. He is used to digging deep to find the wherewithal to overcome any obstacle. If that's the case, Sean had better start digging. It looks like Brett has his number. You know, I don't think this is how HVK thought this match would go. The Hitman has been incredibly aggressive during this matchup. Well, there's certainly no love loss between these two, that's for sure. Sean's going to the top. Oh, no! Can you believe the fight? Sean got off that going from him. Here's the no, somehow. Better be careful. Looks like Bret Hart isn't done yet. Bret Hart is barely standing in. Shooter. The hitman got him. He got him. Unbelievable. He got him, JR. He got him. He's got to give it up. It's over. Bret Hart is still the WWE champion. His lower back has to be screaming in pain. Michaels trying to hang on. He gave up. He gave up. No, not yet. No. Four, three, two, one. He gave up. Bret Hart wins. I don't think so. I don't think Michaels gave up. It doesn't really matter. Bret Hart retains. He lasted the entire 60 minutes. Even I gotta give him credit, JR. What an effort. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The 60 minute time limit has expired. However, this match has been ordered to continue under sudden death rules, which means there must be a winner. We're in overtime, JR. This match will continue.
scoreboard first. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, this match exceeded any expectations of what you'd want to see. Shawn Michaels being awarded the title in front of Bret Hart. The boyhood dream has come true for Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, officially the WWE Champion. We have witnessed the single greatest athletic event in WWE history. Well, I won't say he didn't earn it, JR, because he did. And I don't want to rain on his parade because right now he's accomplished his dream. But he's just setting out on a journey he may not be ready for. Because defending and keeping the WWE title is going to be harder than anything he's ever done in his life. Versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in a submissions match with no disqualifications here at WrestleMania. This all started after Austin won King of the Ring, and then he began to taunt Bret Hart. Austin won the match against Hart, but Hart wouldn't agree to it. So Austin let him have it week after week, insult after insult. Austin even cost Bret the WWE Championship during a match on Monday Night Raw. After that incident, it was announced that these two would face each other here. And it's not about pinning your opponent tonight. It's about breaking his will. And a heap of impact delivered with that elbow drop. Devastating. Just a devastating neck break. Great quickness being shown here. Here we go. Outside of the ring. And there are no count-outs in the cart. Taking out all that frustration. Having been screwed all these many months, all these many times. These men are just beating the living heck out of each other. That's what it's going to take tonight, King. Somebody's going to quit tonight. Somebody's going to give up. Oh, both of these men are proud, JR. What's it going to take for one of these men to submit at the hands of the other? If this was a hockey match, we'd say he hit the boards. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Toss back of the ring now. What's he going to find? And bashes him with the chair. Boy, oh boy. Something snapped inside that brain. No 
insane person can do this to another human. Man, I think something snapped inside that brain. No sane person can do this to another human. Stop 
stopping it. Stopping it right now. that Steve Austin did not give up. What's Brett doing? Wait, no, no! Good God, come on, Brett. Enough's enough. I can tell you, I have never seen a display of intestinal fortitude like we just saw with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Listen to this chorus of booze directed at the hitman. Brick the Hitman Hart has just defeated one of the gutsiest individuals ever. Almost, would you say, a reluctant look in the eye of the Undertaker. Not reluctant out of fear, but for being put in this situation. The Undertaker said he would never fight his brother. He promised his dead parents that he would never face his flesh and blood. But he was pushed over the edge, and now it's going to happen. Who will rest in peace? A shot, crisp elbow drop. Good three. Talk about high impact. And he strikes with a quick kick. The quick cane, the younger brother. You can't say little brother as he is virtually a mirror image of the dead man. Now uh, the Undertaker has to be struggling with this, JR. You're absolutely right, King. One has to wonder what is going through the mind of the Undertaker. Is he thinking about his brother, his dead parents, or is he thinking that this could be the last match that the Undertaker ever has? All of those things have got to be going through the mind of the Undertaker, JR. Undertaker has him right where he wants him. Will not be there. Another great kick. Right hand. 
expect that to happen. Misjudged the range on that one. 
The bionic redneck Steve Austin sees the opening. And there's an elbow drop. Uh -oh. West Coast Hall is going to do now. Could this be it? Oh, man, I thought he had it. My goodness. The rock kick down to the starter. And Austin is in shock. Look at this. Here comes Mr. McMahon. He's number one. Oh, oh, a low blow. A low blow by The Rock. McMahon distracted Austin. McMahon just hit the referee. Hey, look. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. My God. There's Mankind. Oh, no. Look out. Mankind just nailed Mr. McMahon. You can't hit him.
The fact that he is in a foul mood makes him only that much more dangerous. Big Show won the WCW Championship from Hulk Hogan in his first ever match. He's the only man in history that can make that claim. Missed him. What a wreck. In a fatal four-way match, it doesn't matter how big the man is. There are four superstars in the ring, and regardless of size, those odds are never in your favor. You have to team up in a match like this. You make an alliance, and then when they least expect it, it's every man for himself. The Big Show is so big, he's practically three superstars all by himself. I mean, just look at the size of the man. If I'm in this match, I'm making friends with the Big Show. Get him on the... The Big Show is looking shaky out there. When you are that big a man, the target on your back is every bit as big as you are. When you have three guys on you, wearing you down, teaming up on you, it's a perfect example of when size doesn't matter. Especially when those three guys are Mick Foley, Triple H, and The Rock. Four competitors, four champions. Oh, what a main event, JR. The Rock is in a world of hurt, King, and now McFoley has come to get him some of the great one. Triple H is directing traffic tonight. It looks like he's telling McFoley to do his dirty work. extremely physical. The Rock with those steel steps in position as a weapon. <laughs> Triple H retaliates. The Rock is under that steel. The Rock's getting assaulted. It's down to The Rock and Triple H for the WWE Championship. Oh, I think The Rock can feel it slipping away. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Rock's 
in trouble. The great one is in some serious trouble here tonight. What would happen, JR, if it... Triple H with devious intentions. And the Rock counters. Oh, Triple H didn't see that coming. They are both laid out. feet sending him back into the ring he used his opponent's momentum on that one when you're beat up the last thing you want to have to deal with is this amount of power
McMahon just pulled a rock off of Austin. Why did Mr. McMahon pull the rock off of Stone Cold Steve Austin? What the hell? Stone Cold Steve Austin wants the WWE Championship so badly, he has forsaken his hatred of Mr. McMahon. A Stone Cold Rock Bottom. My God, Austin scores with a Rock Bottom. see the day when Steve Austin and Vince McMahon would team up. Hell has most certainly frozen over, JR. Rock bottom. The Rock scores with a rock bottom on Austin. It looks like that took as much out of the Rock as it did Steve Austin. Oh my God. Good grief. in shock. Austin cannot believe it. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. And he threw a hard right hand there. There's a counter. The bottom the opening. Whoa! Oh my God! Look out! This is clearly no longer about just winning the WWE Championship. These two men simply do not like each other. I think you're right, King. We have witnessed a war here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin with a series of vicious chair shots to The Rock. Austin is destroying The Rock. Thing to become the WWE Champion. There's a cover out of here. No, somehow. Oh, if you look at the Rock's face here, that will check it out. Never before, and dare I say it, never again will we 
to see such a matchup with a magnitude as The Rock versus Hollywood Hogan. Icon versus Icon. You know, this all started when Hogan asked The Rock for a picture and then insulted him about it. Let's not forget the beatdown, the spray paint, and that Hogan damn near killed The Rock when he drove that semi into the ambulance that The Rock was in. Well, The Rock didn't play in games tonight. If Hogan thinks he has an easy night here, he's sadly mistaken. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Watch it. He looks fired up here. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. Oh, what a bad right hand. And he strikes with a quick kick.
tonight at this magnificent event, the young lion, the rock, has blown it out over the veteran lion, Hulk Hogan. Look at these fans, JR. They're on their feet. They're clapping. And I think they're fighting for both of these superstars, as well they should. is as complicated as they get, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H won the Royal Rumble, giving him a title shot against Y2J. Triple H and Stephanie, who have been having marital troubles, found out that Stephanie was pregnant. Oh, that's right. They were going to renew their wedding vows. Later. The game, pulling a page out of Rick Blair's book with a figure four. Hey, 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 be careful, Stephanie. Wait a minute. She dug those fingernails right into the man's eye. with devious intentions. I think I see a look of concern on Stephanie's face. Stephanie got herself into this mess. Oh, no! Don't you dare do it! And Jericho with a missile drop kick that separated the game and is soon to be XY. Now that's the way to turn it around. Leads with a beautiful reversal. And over in. Over the top row. And he almost came down on the back of his head. shots to the head. I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable Three. future. Come on. Oh, oh no. Is that a two? Flying oh. four. And another flying four. Five. Back into the ring now. Oh, no. There he goes again.
to quit. And the result is Triple H has become the undisputed champion. endured the pain, the heartbreak, the frustration, the rehabilitation for what perhaps could have been his last match. What a display of courage. What a display of heart. We have a new undisputed WWE Champion. Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. My God Almighty, go to the power. Shoulders on the mat. He's got on even two. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. He was able to reverse that. And there's the reversal. And that attack was dodged. He's trying to get inside his head. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of energy. And another kick. Michael's moving in. Look out! Oh, the tide of this match has just turned, JR. Chris Jericho is a world class athlete, no question. Oh, wait a minute. Is impersonation the most sincere form of flattery? Not when you can do it better than the original. Sweet chin music. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And the penny kicks out. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. The punch connects. Oh, I can feel that one out here. He's got him. Oh my gosh. Somebody will get a stretcher. Oh, this is dangerous right here. He's got the hook. A very clever move. What 
What a smart athlete. Oh, the ball. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. That's three. Oh, this isn't good. And he starts with a 
Austin Fest says that he's bulletproof, and he just doesn't he think the Rattlesnake is jealous of the fact that The Rock's a movie star? Stone Cold Steve Austin is a wrestler. That's what Austin's wanted to be all his life, and that's what he is. Steve Austin is a wrestler, as intense as any wrestler I've ever seen. I certainly applaud The Rock at being multifaceted, at being a star in Hollywood. I just don't think that our fans share that sentiment. Well, The Rock has proven that he can do it all. WWE, movies, TV, you name it. The Rock is the total package. That very reason might be The Rock's undoing, King. I can smell what he's smelling. The Rock is smelling big right here. The way to go. This is not the position you want to be in. about The Rock's good looks or his Hollywood career. Tonight is about WrestleMania. It's about proving that Austin can still stomp a mud hole in The Rock and walk the track. Stone Cold Steve Austin's career, his legacy, will always be measured against that of The Rock. It's unavoidable. And Austin wants to end all such conjecture tonight. <laughs> and The Rock might want to call a stunt double, JR.
versus the Big Show for the United States Championship. This is the first time the United States Championship has ever been defended at WrestleMania, King. Well, John Cena has been delivering a near steady stream of insults toward the Big Show. And that's a tactic that might just... King, plain and simple. Does John Cena have a chance to win here tonight? Well, I think John Cena has a chance. But in my opinion, I don't think John Cena's gonna win. But that's just my view. I mean, John Cena's a world-class athlete. He's on the rise. John Cena has to try and chop down the Big Redwood Big Show. It's important to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the Big Show has been in many high-stakes battles in his career. This is not the Big Show's first barbecue. That's right, JR. The Big Show has basically faced everyone there is to face. And that's a huge edge in a match like this. Wow, what a counter! between the eyes. He's really going for it now. John Cena looking for his first taste of championship gold tonight at WrestleMania 20. Oh, Big Show needs to stay focused and regroup. He needs to rely on his power and stick to his game plan. Show's not out of this match. Not yet. You can never count out the Big Show. He has so many ways to punish you inside that ring. Plus, the man's a legitimate giant. That's the biggest advantage of them all. John Cena is doing the unthinkable, and the Big Show has got to be worried. Oh, man, I don't think anyone expected John Cena to step up to the Big Show like this. The Big Show must do something drastic at this point, King. Dude, no, somehow. Sometimes you only get... John Cena getting a chain in hand. He can't use this. Cena's going to get disqualified. What's your obsession with the title anyway? You can't be cheating like this. The referee doing the right thing. Oh, yeah. Cena's poised and at the ready. He's looking for that attitude adjustment to pick up the win here. Could this be it? There's two, three, and this match is over. Here is your winner and new United States champion, John Cena. John Cena has done the impossible. John Cena has slain the Giant to win the United States Championship. He needed the brass knuckles to do it, though, JR. I mean, it is WrestleMania, and I guess whatever it takes, but John Cena is the new United States Champion. And here we go. Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg. See. Goldberg has some real dislike for Lesnar. These two never really got along to begin with. But when Brock interfered and eliminated Goldberg from the Royal Rumble, well, he met Lesnar is a former University of Minnesota Golden Gopher, the 2000 NCAA heavyweight champion. Lesnar is clearly the better Matt wrestler in my view. Well, unfortunately, Brock Lesnar's not wrestling a Matt right now, JR. He's wrestling Goldberg. Bill Goldberg, one of the standouts from the old WCW. Both these athletes are fearless. Certainly, Lesnar's conduct in recent weeks has been somewhat disappointing, to say the least. Rumors are running rampant that Lesnar is contemplating leaving the WWE. Sounds like some of these fans want to see him go. So Lesnar wants to play football? Well, Goldberg's been there and done that. Well, be that as it may, these two monsters have more pressing matters at hand to settle. Blocks it.
Oh, look at this. Man, this takes a lot. But Brock Lesnar right now looks to be in real trouble. his hard hitting smash mouth slobber knocking style it's safe to say lesnar isn't used to facing someone who can deliver as much punishment as lesnar can take you gotta wonder jr both these men have dominated their opponents during their career it's got to be a shock to both guys to provide someone so similar in strength and power brock lesnar and goldberg showcasing and Goldberg breaks Lesnar. Here is the winner, Goldberg. Well, Goldberg representing Raw proudly, defeating Brock Lesnar with a spear followed by the jackhammer as the rattlesnake raises Goldberg's hand. There was no mistake about the three count. Emphatically, Goldberg hit the big three over Lesnar. And certainly contrary to the speculation, there was no controversial officiating in my eyes. I gotta be honest with you, I'm still amazed at that. That was actually a quite reserved and docile rattlesnake in that match. He just stood back and let these guys go at it and then counted three. Something tells me that this isn't over. I think you're right, King. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? They lock up here. You can hear the chin. Stun Lester and Goldberg right out of the WWE ring. What the hell? WrestleMania running for the veins of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night it has been. Austin sending a clear message about who the top dog is in this WrestleMania matchup. reigning WWE champion in the last decade. John Cena wants to put an end to JBL's championship reign. It doesn't get any simpler than that, folks. Yeah, but JBL has pushed Cena to this point. Cena won his WrestleMania title shot fair and square at No Way Out, and JBL has been a thorn in Cena's side ever since. That's an understatement, King. JBL cost John Cena the United States Championship and then destroyed Cena's custom-made Spinner Championship. John Cena has been waiting for this night for so long, and now it's happening. Oh, what a main event. I think after that, I'll be searching in my tights for a white flag I can wave. Dear God, what a strike. That can go absolutely through someone, literally. The punch connects. Uh-oh, what are we gonna see here? Oh, nice counter. He's really going for it now. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Incoming.
this line from hell. Cena countered, and now Cena's going to celebrate. We have a new WWE champion out of nowhere. John Cena, a comeback kid. And talk about his heart and his soul. Ladies and gentlemen, my time is now for the new WWE champion, John Cena. is as elementary as it gets. Edge blames Mick Foley for losing the WWE Championship to John Cena on Monday Night Raw back in February. And Mick was the ref in that match. And afterward, Edge attacked Mick and left him lying in the ring. Mick Foley is no stranger to pain. I don't think he likes pain, but I don't think he hates it too much either. One time Mick Foley... Once again, always the difference maker, Lita interfering in this match. into the ring now. Look into the eyes of Edge. He's not going to stop until his opponent is broken in half. of damage. His knees, particularly, are a well-known weakness. Yeah, but there's only so much damage a human body can take. Is Mick Foley even human anymore? Edge is no stranger to the physical toll. Ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed Mick Foley in some of the most brutal matches one can imagine. He was thrown off the hell in a cell in Pittsburgh. He was thrown 16 feet through the cell. And now Lita is saturating that table with lighter fluid. Oh my God, here we go. Can you hear the anticipation growing here at WrestleMania King? I don't know if it's anticipation or disbelief. Watch it, Mick. Oh no. Championship. 
This one is underway, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't just a world championship matchup. This is about history and legacy. If Batista wins, he makes history. If The Undertaker wins, his incredible legacy grows even more amazing. Batista is intent on ending the streak tonight, JR. His Two. focus tonight is the key for him. Many superstars have tried to Three. defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none has succeeded. If anyone can end The Undertaker's streak, it's Batista. What a counter by Batista. is just so skilled. Look at that reversal. And a counter by Batista. And he strikes with a quick kick. Nice reversal there. Wow, there's some big power in those shots. Undertaker utilized, oh my God, the Undertaker finding his groove against the powerhouse World Heavyweight Champion Batista. Well, Batista has a real chip on his shoulder. He thinks he deserves all the accolades the WWE has to offer. Well, that may be true, King, but this is the ultimate proving ground. Battling the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Undertaker might finish it here. The dead man has Batista reeling. He has the champion in trouble. This must be part of Batista's master plan, JR. To let the Undertaker punch himself out. Well, King, that's the most dangerous game to play on this stage. There are numerous others who would agree with that. for a number of reasons, JR. First off, it's the respect for The Undertaker. Second, the fans have taken issue with the questionable tactics by Batista over the past couple of weeks. It was Batista who delivered the spine buster to The Undertaker at No Way Out. And then, Batista delivered another spine buster just two nights ago on SmackDown. Two! Back into the ring now. Said, and I quote, I'll have your back until Two. WrestleMania. 
I've turned against all my partners. And more importantly, I've stabbed Three. all my friends in the back. But with you, John, you? it's different. You out. A face buster. And a heap of impact delivered Five. with an elbow drop. John Cena finding his mark Four. on HBK. Cena using his tremendous strength. The Enziguri on the WWE Champion. John Cena looks to be out on his feet. Oh, this doesn't look good, JR. Good God Almighty. Michaels with that springboard moonsault catching Cena on our announce table. HBK will do whatever it takes to be the WWE Champion. I mean, they don't call him Mr. WrestleMania for nothing.
You know, JR, this started a long, long time ago when Mr. McMahon decreed that the next match Ric Flair lost would be his last. And let's not forget, it was Flair who challenged HBK. Flair even said that it would be an honor to be retired by Shawn Michaels. What an emotional moment for both these men. Ric Flair, a 16th. The Nature Boy's career has been in serious peril for months now, but never so much as tonight up against a fellow legend in Shawn Michaels. I don't think anyone can argue HBK and Whoa. Flair's abilities and careers. It must be heart-wrenching for HBK to know that winning a WrestleMania tonight means Ric Flair will never compete again. Three! Come on, move it! Oh, what an amazing setting. Wait a minute. What, what, what is he doing? Look out! Oh! Oh, my God. A, a thunderous moonsault. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Folks, if Ric Flair is the greatest of all time, how can one argue that Shawn Michaels isn't 1A? I'm warning you, keep it up. Four. Back into the Five. ring now. He knows how to get you in his clutches and make things impossible to get out of. This is not the position you want to be in. Oh, you can see the pain in their eyes from that vicious chop. The nature boy has certainly seen better days. Oh, did you see that knee? He was able to reverse that. Oh, my God. Oh, God, what impact. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. He was able to reverse that. The emotional aspect of this match must be weighing mighty heavy on Shawn Michaels' mind. Well, this is what Ric Flair wanted. He wanted Mr. WrestleMania, and he got him. And it just might cost him his career. If there was any individual... Oh, look at that! seen better days. What a chop. Ouch. That'll scramble your brains. Without a doubt, he's going to need to see a chiropractor when he gets back in the locker room. HBK sees the opportunity. Sean Michaels looks to be a no man's land. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Watch out here. He just connected with the Russian lead sweep. Superstars. The look on Shawn Michaels' face tells the entire story. Well, desperate men do desperate things. The nature. 
Nature Boy, making it to his feet, says, bring it on. Flair's not finished yet. Flair wants to fight. Seen that one before. He's carving a path of destruction tonight. Here's a cover. advantage in a triple threat it's almost an unfair advantage against the champion and it's randy orton who has the giant target on his back tonight triple h looking to be suffering from the lingering effects of his quadriceps injury and those effects are going to linger for a long time jr he'll never be completely 100 percent again well, as much as I don't want to admit it, King, I think you're right. Triple H is clearly struggling tonight. Back into the ring now. Oh, man. There might be no getting up from that. Those knees are tougher than $2 steaks, and they're doing some damage I can tell you. That's it. He's done. 
The game looks to be in a bit of trouble here. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Uh-oh. John Cena may be kicking it into another gear. Orton's got him. Out on the floor and underneath the ring. There's no telling what's under this ring, JR. Someone should have a search under the ring. There's weird things under there, I've heard. He was able to reap. We got a cover. And Triple H kicks out. That was so close. Oh, Triple H isn't done yet. A quick Irish whip. Right hand by Randy. Oh, no. Talk about getting launched out of the ring. Oh, look at the emotion. What's he going to find? And Orton just unloading with a huge right. And here we go. Back into the ring. And there they go again. Crashing to the outside. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Shot. 
with force and velocity. Elbow drop. Cena's starting to slow down here. And he missed. Big shot to the end of it. Rinse and repeat. There it is again. to the outside. Look at Orton. He actually loved every second of that. My God Almighty going for the Two, cover. Three. That's three. Who wins? Randy Orton. He is your winner and still WWE Champion, Randy Orton. Of course, what we have grown to know from Randy Orton but it looked like the game had won the WWE Championship with a pedigree to John Cena. Orton capitalizes and retains. This one is as twisted as they come, ladies and gentlemen. Edge was scheduled to face the Big Show for the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania until John Cena interfered at the contract signing. Yeah, John Cena shows up whispers into Vicky Guerrero's ear, and then she called the contract signing off to the confusion of everyone. Vicky then decreed that Cena would be added to the match here tonight. Uh, Cena was using footage of Big Show and Vicky Guerrero kissing to worm his way into a WrestleMania main event, and it worked. Edge has to be brokenhearted that his wife is cheating on him and with the Big Show of all people. how slow he is to react right now. That one went wide. Yeah! Another one. Back into the ring now. The punch connects. A very clever move. What a smart athlete. Oh, man. There might be no getting up from that. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Oh, my God. Whip. Oh, bam! Out of the ring! You know what's gonna happen. Heading back into the ring now. And he turns the tie. Man down. Man down big time. And it goes running. And the knuckles connect. Back into the ring now. Look out! And he strikes with a quick kick. Just wrong. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Lord in heaven, what a landing. Right in. 
to the knees of the Big Show. John Cena driving his leg off the top. Cena's putting his body on the line with that high-risk maneuver. King, I'm not sure who got the better of that exchange. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. he can take. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He's got him hooked. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. stipulation is that the WWE title will change hands on a disqualification. Well, that's going to work. At 24 years of age, Orton made history by becoming the youngest World Heavyweight Champion of all time. The skills that this young man has are rarely, if ever, seen. I don't see any redeeming qualities there. Randy Orton may not always be a likable guy, but there is no denying the young man has talent. You cannot deny Orton's ability in the ring. Blocks it. Uh-oh. Man, that one rocked him. Orton escapes. He was able to reverse and get out of that. Orton escapes. Triple H is not a man that makes eye promises. Triple H has talked about destroying Randy Orton, and that is a little unsettling. Oh, these men are going out of tooth and nail here. But again, what do you do, King? You see this man, Randy Orton, kick your father-in-law in the head. Kick your brother-in-law in the head. DDT your wife. And that, King, that's what...
where business picked up. That's where it really became a whole different ballgame. But what do you do here tonight? His hands are tied. Triple H's hands are tied. And he wants to destroy Randy Orton for his sins. Here comes some offense from Triple H. Oh, my God. Oh, God, what impact. Oh. What's the game going to do here? This could be it. The game could be over thanks to Triple H. Reversal. Orton reversed it. Back into the ring now. Preparing his foe for the ultimate demise. Oh, good three. What impact. We got a corner. Three, it's two. Three. It's all over, folks. And Triple H retains his championship. Here is your winner and still WWE Champion, Triple H. The King of Kings, the WWE Champion, reaching into the soul of Randy Orton and extracting some retribution. And the game plays on. Well, Randy Orton has learned a very valuable lesson on the stage of WrestleMania tonight. Be careful how far you back somebody into a corner, especially if that somebody is named Triple H. on the line here tonight as Chris Jericho and Edge face off in this long brewing rivalry contest. Now this rivalry goes all the way back to the bash in 2009, JR. You would not think to look at them, but at one time Jericho and Edge were the unified tag team champions. That pairing was short lived as Edge suffered a torn Achilles tendon forcing him to the sidelines and Jericho to find a new tag team partner. Yeah, Jericho then teamed up with the Big Show and he made it well known. Edge and Jericho are former unified tag team champions. This is a deeply personal affair and there may be no greater enemy than that of a wronged best friend. Well, let's not forget that both these superstars come from Canada. Edge is from Toronto. Jericho from Winnipeg. They train together. They travel the roads together before coming to the WWE. It's almost like a brotherhood that has been severed. No! Talk about the skies being the limit. Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? Look out! Are you serious? Talk about putting your career on the line. Whoa! Whoa! These two men know each other's styles like the back of their own hand. They know how to count and it's almost as if they know what the other's thinking before they do it. If you've ever traveled through the great white north, those roads are long. Sitting in the car with me, and there's no getting up from that. Edge is slowing down. He edge, and it kicks out. We're in the feeling out process here. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? And he strikes with a quick kick. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Look at him block the attack. He's going to go high risk from the top rope. Uh oh Edge is getting close to the point where his edge could be in serious trouble here tonight. One has to wonder if his injury is more physical or psychological. When you come back from an injury like Edge had, you have to try to prove to the world and yourself that you're better than you were before. But is that really true? Uh oh, nice counter. Great counter. A massive shot with force and velocity. You hear how his leg connected? Uh oh, big move coming. Incredible counter. Oh my gosh, what an awesome move. Great counter. Great counter. Driving the knee into the opponent. 
Edge in trouble. WrestleMania debuts back at WrestleMania 20. They were the final two men in the 2005 World Rumble match. They have both won their first world titles five years ago on the same night at WrestleMania 21. And tonight, they face off in front of over 72,000 WWE fans. Can John Cena capture the WWE Championship? Or will Batista destroy the face of the WWE? Batista thinks he should be the face of WWE and holds a grudge against John Cena. One way or the other, one of these men is walking out of WrestleMania, the WWE Champion. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Oh, 
Rinse and repeat. There it is. Submission holds locked in. And he's in big trouble. He's in perfect position to hold control. Here is Brad Levy saying. Here is your winner. Undertaker is in 
Undertaker must be wondering, what does he have to do to put HBK away? Many superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none has succeeded. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Surprising Cena here tonight. 
I think the Miz continues to surprise us all, King. He's come a long way since his days of reality television. What a shot! Cena, just one heartbeat quicker on that exchange. He's cutting off his oxygen. He's making it so that he can't breathe. The Miz has it. And a kick. The Miz likes to call himself the most must-see WWE champion in history. With the way he's handling Cena tonight, I can't say that he's too far off. Well, you can't ever underestimate The Miz. I mean, how many superstars are in the main event in only their second WrestleMania? Well, not many, King. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, The Miz is the real deal. Look at this! In my opinion, the mark of every great champion in the WWE is that they all have found a way to win. Cena seems on the ropes right now, but do not count out the leader of the C-Nation. Well, The Miz has Cena right where he wants him, but can he finish it? That's the question. You have to give The Miz credit, King. He has clearly studied John Cena. What's Cena? Cena's in trouble, and he sends him flying to the outside. Whoa. Oh no! Was that a two? Two! Three! Oh man, you take a shot like that, and you feel it for weeks. security wall. The referee's got a 10 count to work with. Oh my God! These two men are outside the secured area. The ref is still counting. Ladies and gentlemen, both men have been officially counted out. Therefore, this match has been ruled a draw. However, still your WWE champion,
Back into the ring now. Blocks it. And down he goes. Oh, how close. Incredible counter. John Cena has never lost a singles match at any WrestleMania game. This is Cena's eighth straight WrestleMania main event. Big match experience. This is Miz's second WrestleMania. That can't be discounted. Well, both of these two. young men, from the time they were little boys, there'll be no countouts. There'll be no disqualifications either. Cena looking for the attitude adjustment.
and that attack was not. Nice reversal there. Now that's the way to turn it around. You hear how his leg connected? So many have tried to beat The Undertaker here, and so many have failed, including Triple H one year ago. The game with a series of vicious chair shots. Oh! Look at The Undertaker's back. He's just fighting to get back up.
But the question remains, ladies and gentlemen, will we ever see The Undertaker compete again? Will we ever see Triple H compete again? The one thing we can answer, most definitely, this is the end of an era. Extraordinary respect by Shawn Michaels and by over 78,000 here tonight at WrestleMania. It's as if, ladies and gentlemen, that these three men know that they will never be at the same place at the same time in this exact environment. History was made tonight at WrestleMania 28. And this one is underway. Ladies and gentlemen, since the summer of 2011, right, CM Punk has successfully defended the WWE Championship, calling himself the best wrestler in the world. It is a claim that Chris Jericho disputes. That's right, JR. Jericho accused Punk of being a copycat. A Jericho. Jericho is one of the greatest big game players in WWE history. He defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock on the same night to become the undisputed WWE Champion. That's something the likes of which we will never see again, JR. Well, be that as it may, King, what Jericho has done in the past means little at this juncture. Is Jericho the best in the world right now? That's the question. He's still not through. Elbow connects. What an impact from that kick. Things have gone for our 78,363 fans in attendance at WrestleMania 28 tonight in Miami. It is a record-breaking crowd, and they will witness one of these two men walk out, the WWE Champion. 17 WWE Championships have been crowned at WrestleMania, but only two since 2004. CM Punk working at a distinct disadvantage here tonight as the WWE Championship can change hands on a disqualification. You know Jericho is counting on Punk losing his cool. He has goaded Punk for weeks, hoping he would explode here tonight. Watch out! I'm not sure if he knows where he is. Punk said a couple of weeks ago that he obviously has the devil in his DNA. But now, that's Jericho's problem. Uh, Jericho can be as nasty as they come. I think these two men have more in common than they would admit. Both of these superstars are master psychologists. Jericho has been playing mind games with Punk for weeks now. Oh, but right now, those mind games seem to have backfired on Jericho. Jericho doesn't let up. Don't try to tell Jericho he's not the best in the world. He'll see him. Punk has got to overcome Jericho's mind games. Ah, oh, Jericho has really got in the head of Punk. You have to wonder if he can get focused and get back in this match. CM Punk is a five-time world champion and one of the most controversial superstars in WWE history. Speaking his mind with that pipe bomb, as he calls it. That pipe bomb is not going to help him right now, JR. The time for talk is over. Oh, no. 
WWE title. CM Punk proving on this night between these two men that Punk is the best in the world. I don't know if you could get a matchup that is more even than that one was. Peaks and valleys, ups and downs. CM Punk remains the WWE Champion. since these two have traded bars, goading each other through social media and interviews, and now it's on. The Rock versus John Cena in the main event. A rest of the time for talking is over. Both these men have been very vocal and very entertaining in all their trash talk over the better part of a year. But now it's time to find out who will walk out of WrestleMania the better man. Well, sometimes, JR, you can get wrapped up in all the trash talk and lose sight of what's really important. It all comes down to proving it in the ring. And right now, Cena is finding out what so many before him have learned. The Rock is more than just a bunch of catchphrases and a raised eyebrow. John Cena is in the ring with a world-class athlete. And that one... You know, we talk about enjoying this match as a fan king. But John Cena has put so much pressure on himself going into this main event. If you recall what Cena said and has said week after week, John Cena has to win. He has to win this match tonight. Well, for John Cena, it's a must-win match tonight. He said after WrestleMania, life goes on for The Rock. But the WWE is what Cena lives for. Going for a pin, here's the cover. Nice reversal, a great reversal by Cena. of this main event. Cena has had The Rock right where Cena wanted it. And it's a testament to The Rock's natural, God-given abilities that he can put John Cena in such a precarious situation. Well, The Rock said he and Team Bring It would lay the smack down on John Cena tonight. And he's backing his words up with his fist. Cena's in serious trouble, JR. This reversal. A great reversal by Cena.
Arena can take another impact like that. Seriously, hard time getting back to his feet after that. After all these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Take her! 
Brings him down with the touch line. He's still not free. There's another one. He's still not free. Wow, there's a big power on those shots. And that 
punch lands hard. And can you believe that impact? Incoming. Oh, man. A big time miss. Not the most effective striking here.
seen it yet.